Hey, good evening, students, uh, the serious classical students. This is for you. This is a quick video on how to attach a ping pong ball Here's to your fingernails. Thanks, Siri, for listening to everything. So, uh, anyways, this is the far off camera. Time to switch to the other one real quick. Let's see if I got this going right. Oh, wait, I got to put this like, you know, there we go. That is a close up of some tweezers. Ta -da! Tweezers. This is what you will need to, in order to put a ping pong ball on your fingernails. One, at least some fingernail. This is my eye finger. I have shaped it. I lost my fingernail when I was practicing today. You can see some of the super glue residue left over up here. That's fine. You don't need to get rid of any of that if you've been using it. You do need some bit of nail. Oh, that's a lovely picture, uh, but nothing I can do about it uh, to attach the ping pong ball too. Now, this is what's left of the ping pong ball that I've been using. So full kit wise, you need a ping pong ball. Split in half is generally the way to do it. Here's the other half of said ping pong ball. It's a three star. I generally find though any type of three star is thicker and more consistent. So it makes it a little bit better. You can get a huge bag of these on Amazon for like next to nothing. But uh, the one word of caution though, make sure you get a small sample bag because if they're bad quality and you're stuck with a ton of them, you're just gonna be throwing them out. You need a file, some form of super glue. In this case, Loctite, that works. Crazy glue is good. Anything that will stick to your nail generally well is great. Uh, today I lost this nail practicing a piece that had a lot of roschiatos and strumming and uh, extended techniques, so it just flew right off right in the middle of the practice room. So uh, I pity the person that has to pick that up. Actually, no, I picked it up and threw it out. Anyways, so this is what I have cut the ping pong ball to. This right here. You can see it's got a little bit of an angle on the other side. This is the side that will attach to the nail, like go underneath it. This is a side that's gonna be on the plucking end. So a dry run of this is first, I make sure that it's gonna fit under the nail. So kind of, let's see if I can get this on camera completely. Focus, there we go. And of course I move the camera. So I'm trying to see if this will stay underneath. I'm gonna hold this together with tweezers. Tweezers are a must. So you can see, that to zoom in, somewhat clear. You can see I'm holding it underneath the nail, making sure that it all lines up, and it does. It's really snug. This shaping here, this curvature, is quite important because you want it to match as much as possible the curvature of your nail. Okay? That makes it a lot easier to mount the thing on, underneath your nail uh, and smoothly. If it's not close, it's gonna hurt. So a decent pain tolerance for the first couple of times you do this is a very smart thing to have, or at least gird yourself, find something to bite down on, you know, watch something that makes you angry so you can handle the pain, either way. So I line it up underneath the nail. I'm gonna raise this up ever so slightly. There we go. Sorry about the camera angles. It should be better production value, but as long as you can see the important part, that's what counts. So you line it up under the nail like this. Now I'm gonna put a dab of glue right here. All right, just a small thing so that one, it's not running all over the place. And two, I can make sure that it's gonna be right in the spot that I want it. And then I'll use the tweezers to squeeze it shut like so against the nail until it dries. It doesn't take long. So anyways, without further ado, let's open this up a little bit more. Okay. Sorry about the focus here. Focus there. All right, so I'm gonna put this dab of glue right here. Notice it's just a little tinge with that. And then, now I'm watching my hand, not the thing. So I'm feeling to make sure that I have that going all the way around on my nail. Come on, focus you silly thing. There. So you can see where the dab is and where I don't have it 
along the other edge. This is now stuck on. It's not completely because I haven't done this part yet, but I'm about to. So with that in mind, I always make sure that I get the rest of this by coming above the nail and putting small little dabs, little happy clouds of super glue there. And then I hold the rest right onto it. This is where it's usually just slightly painful. You get used to it. It's not bad. And generally, even if it's on too tight, by the next day or two, it loosen your nail grows out and you don't have to worry about it. So I'm holding that pretty tight to make sure I have a seal there. And as you can see, ta-da! There's a super glue kind of going all the way around. So it goes from here down below. Now I'm gonna need an extra little dab there, so I'm gonna get that off camera real quick. And then I generally, if there's any excess, I spread it around over the top and in the front of the nail. You can see the little dab. I don't wanna keep this that way. <sighs> Shiny, but not focusy. Focus. There. So you can see where that's at. Now, obviously, this is gargantuanly huge, and this is not going to be the final shape. So this is basically just to outline how to get a fingernail or a thumbnail or whatever nail on. This applies to all the nails whatsoever. So what I'll do before I shave it down is I will use these nail clipper scissors, these rounded ones to shape this nail so that it's somewhat close to what I want. I always make sure that they're too long rather than short because you can always take more off, but you can't put more on right away. If you happen to, uh, let's see if I can go back to the, yeah. If you happen to put your fingernail on and it is uh, way too short, you're gonna have a bad day. Uh, with the, at least with the super glue, you need acetone, and you need to sit there for like an hour holding it in the acetone so it dissolves the ping pong ball. It can be done. I've done that a few times, but I, that's how I've learned from experience. So with this nail, you know, it's all underneath. The big point of contact is pretty solid. Same thing on the other side. The other side doesn't really matter too much um, in terms of like mounds of glue. It's just a matter of so that it's sealed all the way around. And I'm going to wait about five minutes, then cut it, shape it, sand it down, sandpaper, and I should have great tone. At least that's the goal. So take your time with this the first time. Make sure you get the underside, like the where your skin and nail attach, that pattern, that arc that I showed in the beginning, that that's as close as you can get it with these scissors and cutting that out. It'll make it a little bit more comfortable. Um, and then start with a little dab of super glue, line it up, then get the rest, wait for it to harden, and the rest of it is there. So hopefully this helps you guys.